Hey everybody, welcome back to Carnivore Quest. My name's Cassie. My husband Larry and I are on a journey to lose over 250 pounds eating the carnivore diet. We're more than halfway to our goal and we are feeling great, getting healthy, and getting our lives back. So most of you have heard of Aldi, but they have a competitor and that is Lidl. They are also a German store and I absolutely love it. I'm fortunate enough to live in an area where they're literally a block away from each other. But I prefer Lidl. I'll even make a left-hand turn on Woodruff Road on a Saturday afternoon <laughs> to go to Lidl as opposed to Aldi and make the right-hand turn. If you have been to Lidl, let me know in the comments what you thought about it. And if you haven't been to Lidl, well, you're in luck because we're headed there right now. Before I grab my keys, I'd like to give a quick thank you to the sponsor of this video, Elements. Elements, an amazing electrolyte drink mix that comes in these single serving packets. I absolutely love them. My favorite are lemon habanero and mango chili, but they just came out with grapefruit salt. And let me tell you, Larry and I absolutely love them. And it's really good over crushed ice. Let me show you how we've been enjoying it. Each one of these packets contains 1000 milligrams sodium, 200 milligrams potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. And there's no sugar. Just a touch of stevia with no fillers and no garbage. Larry and I love the grapefruit salt over crushed ice. Oh, that's delicious. Larry calls it his carnivore lemonade. I just think it's the best grapefruit drink I've ever had. As always, Element is offering our viewers a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single serving packets free with any Element order. You can get yours today at drinkelement.com forward slash carnivore quest. And this is the perfect way to try all eight flavors and see what's your favorite. So head on down to drinklmnt.com forward slash carnivore quest to get yours today. And Element has the best customer service around. If you're not 100% satisfied, keep the product for a full refund. Thanks again, Element, for sponsoring today's video. All right, I've got my keys in my hand, purse on my shoulder. I'm gonna grab my jacket and we're gonna head on down to Lidl. But I do have about $8 of mad money that Larry doesn't know about. We might make a little pit stop at Goodwill. Hopefully, I'll find a good little deal. But don't worry about it. It'll only take about 20 seconds of YouTube time. Let's go. Before we go and do some bargain shopping, I'm going to spend an insane amount on a cup of coffee with cream. This is my favorite coffee spot. And ever since we did BBBE in April, I've really reduced the amount of cream that I consume. So all of April, I think I had it a handful of times. I've slowly reintroduced it, but in a much, much smaller amount than I used to. It's just clean half and half or ultra clean heavy cream, which is very hard to find and very expensive when you can find it. But today, like I said, I'm gonna spend an insane amount of money on a cup of coffee, get a little go juice, and then we'll go shopping. Hi, good, how are you? Good, what can I get you guys? I need a 16 ounce cappuccino, but, um, could you use heavy cream? No other flavorings or? Use heavy cream in that, you said? Yep. Fantastic. Have a good day. You as well. That's how that's done. As most of you know, I'm a thrift store junkie. I'm always on the hunt for a good deal. Totally love Goodwill. And as you can see, Larry likes to tease me. Now remember, I only have $8 to spend today. So let's swing by the 50 cent section. I got myself a hat, I think. I don't wear hats, I don't know. It's cute though, isn't it? All right, let me ring these up and head out the door. I gotta learn to stay out of these stores. Let's go to Lidl. I'm not a hat person. I think I said that already, but I really, really like this. And I think I'm just gonna wear it. Why not? You know, I already tried it on to make sure it fits my big head. If there's any lace in there, I'm in trouble anyways. I have my reusable bags. So I'm gonna take these in with me because I don't wanna spend any more money on bags. Besides, Lidl's paper bags suck. <laughs> Let's do a comparative video between Lidl versus Aldi. Aldi definitely has better paper bags, but they're not better than these. Suckers me in every time. I did it. I got away from the plants without spending any money. One thing I really like about Lidl is their coffee selection. They have singly sourced organic South American coffee beans and 
this. This one, uh, see the breakfast blend? It's quite possibly my favorite. So it's a 12 ounce bag, 550. It's actually not a bad piece. So I'm gonna grab that. See, there's another one that I like. Let's go ahead and grab some Honduras. Honduras beans. Now these are the uh, single source organic and they run about a dollar more a bag for the same amount, but I like them both and I'm gonna get them both. So let's go see what kind of meat they have. Oh, decisions, decisions. I'd like to take on one of each. It's really not a bad price because I love some chicken thighs. Love them, love them, love them. Price tag. That's a good price. Ever since smoking my first pork tenderloin, I am absolutely in love with it. So I'm gonna pick up a couple and we're gonna do it again. I was hoping I could have got some lamb today, but not at these prices. If I'm going to spend 20 bucks a pound, it's gonna be on some beef. But I don't have to spend $20 a pound because these 10 ounce strips and ribeyes are $7.50 each. And that's good enough for me. And we got some bratwurst for Little Larry by request. Now I'm on the hunt for something to go in my coffee. Lidl has some inexpensive clean options. Lidl's half and half has only two ingredients, milk and cream. And at $2.65, it's a bargain. Like Aldi, Lidl has a miscellaneous aisle that can get me in some trouble. There's one more thing I wanted to grab while I was here. Lidl's Ultimate Chicken Rub. This stuff is amazing. And if you like KFC's 11 herbs and spices, you'll love this. Now it's time to pay the piper. One thing I love about the carnivore diet is it's so easy to shop for. I remember back in the day when $20 would give me a bag full of groceries. We're not in that economy anymore. So let me throw these groceries in the car and make our way back home. guys, I'm jumping in here. A little a miscommunication between husband and wife. Cassie came home from her uh, shopping vlog and she was in the backyard and I started cooking up the chicken she brought home before she could film, you know, her grocery haul at the kitchen table. So I'm heading back up to Lidl to get her some more chicken. And now that Larry is back with the chicken, we can finish the video. So we spent $59.27 at Lidl and here's what we got. So little Larry, like I said, he wanted some bratwurst. So I picked those up and we got a couple gorgeous pork tenderloins. I've been playing around with the smoker. The first thing I smoked was a pork tenderloin and my socks were absolutely knocked off. It was so good. And then we got some chicken and when Larry went back to the store, he said that they were out of the family pack and I believe that's a very big possibility because it's happened to me too. It's quite a big difference in price. It's 80 cents more per pound by getting the smaller pack. So go big. I'm very interested I'm trying these steaks. The marbling looks really good on them and at $7.49 a pound, they're definitely worth a try. So we're gonna try that. I got my coffee. Uh, we're gonna try the Honduran coffee and like I said, I really like this breakfast roast and then I wanna treat myself. So I got a little half and half. And um, of course this stuff now, it's got a lot of seasonings. There's no sugar in it. There is an anti-caking agent and that bothers me a little bit, but man, this stuff is really good. It almost reminds me of like a KFC version. So it's perfect for your chicken. So if you find a Lidl, look for this because it's really good. So there you have it, my Lidl mini haul. And I, I hope you enjoyed the store. It's a lot like Aldi. I think it's a little bit better. Some of their selections are better. You know, they're trying to compete with Aldi slash Trader Joe's. And I get that. We discovered them when we first moved down here. Larry's only been there once and he doesn't even remember. He just thinks it's another Aldi. And it, basically it kind of is, but I don't know. There's just something about it. They're a little bit different and their bags are better. Bring your own. Recycle, reuse, reduce, you know, and you don't have to spend money on bags either. 
so there you have it. Thank you. Oh, I forgot about my little hat too. This was uh, $4 and 75 cents at Goodwill. I don't know what I'm going to wear it with, but I will probably build an outfit around this and find an occasion to wear it because I just love this, this little floppy hat. So cute. All right, y'all. I hope you had a good time hanging out with me at Lidl and Goodwill. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet and you want to watch Larry and I shrink, why don't you do that and hit the notification bell too. And if you thought this was a fun video, give me a thumbs up. You can find us on Instagram at carnivore.quest. We put interesting and fun things over there too. And remember y'all, no sugar, no carbs, no cheating. Thank <laughs> you.